breaking news. We have some live footage of the most recent Firefly murder. Your discretion is advised. Hello, and welcome back to Channel 7. Today I'm joined with Deputy Calvert of the CPD. He's in charge of the Firefly murder investigation. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So, what should citizens be watching out for to stay safe? Citizens need to make sure they are home by curfew every night, and they also need to make sure their doors are locked before they go to sleep. Do you have any uh, leads on who this person is? Well, us back at the station, we have suspicions that is trusted local. All right, well, thanks for that. Thank you for joining us. and. Uh, the truck broke down. I'm, I'm not from around here. Uh, it broke down just right outside. Uh... It's freezing. Just c come inside. Take off your shoes. Can I get you anything to eat or drink? I'm gonna take a yes on that drink. I had some gas station sushi a couple miles back, so. Come on in. Come on in. Sprite Cranberry? I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier. Uh, my name is Timothy Turner. Well, I am Seth Teeters, and this is my humble abode. I know it's not much, but it, it gets the job done. So what brings you to this remote cornfield in the middle of Ohio? Uh, I'm actually a journalist. Um, I'm looking into the uh, Firefly murders. Oh, yes. It's what the news has called them, the Firefly Murders. It's kind of a mundane title, don't you think? It brings in views and people like it. I think it's kind of cool for somebody to get a nickname for what they've done. It's like a, it's like a reward. 
Something like that. Well, I do live here all alone, you know. I know it's a big house for living all alone, but I had to make a big house to kind of distract me from uh, my family and my wife and kids that died some years ago in a fire near Chicago. I'm sorry to hear that. No, it's it's all right. It's kind of a depressing tale. I, no, no sense in getting stuck on that. I'm sure you're wondering where you're gonna sleep tonight. No, no don't. No, no, no. Please, sir. My room's the only room fit for sleeping, so I'll just take the couch over there, and you don't have to worry about it. I don't want to intrude. No, no, you're fine. I, I mean, I've been looking to have a guest over. It's pretty boring in this house all alone. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm about five miles out of town. Found an abandoned truck. It's uh, near the Teeter's house. I'm gonna go investigate. All right, see you. Hit or miss? I guess they never miss, huh? Battleship sunk. Well, you know, Battleship is dumb, so maybe we should just call it a night, go to bed. I agree. All right, I'll call the tow truck in the morning um, to get your truck off the road there. Maybe they'll fix it up. Uh, you can go upstairs, brush your teeth, take a shower, whatever you want. I mean, I'm done for the night. I'll call it a night. Thank you for your hospitality. Hey, no problem. Well... Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. His wife and kids died in a fire. Sounds suspicious. All I know is I have to get out of here first thing in the morning. I feel like shit. Hey, easy, easy. What the hell? Hey, well, hey, hey what the hell hey, is going hey, on? Chill, chill up. Hey, look, you hit your head really hard, okay? I tied you up so you wouldn't start seizing on me and die. What the hell is going right? on? Look, look, are you, are you the firefly? Are you trying to kill me in my house? The hell are you talking about? You're the one who's tying me up. You're the firefly. No, 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 the no, firefly. no, 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 no. Let me you see can't just leave me here. Hold on. Hey! Hello? Can I help you, officer? Uh, I found an abandoned truck down near your driveway or down the road a little bit. I can explain that. So there's this reporter. He can't, he's here right now. Uh, we were having a good time. and His car just broke down and he hit his head. And now I thought he was going to have a seizure, so I have him in the living room and he, he's. Officer, help! Hey, help! Hey, what's going on? No, he tied me up here. No, I don't know wait. what the. You officer, okay, sir? Officer, hold on. I can explain. He was gonna have a seizure. I was worried about him. I was... Look, I thought I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna hurt me. Thank God you're here. Don't worry, you're safe now. <clears throat> No, no, 
some stuff. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Closer, I found two more victims in the backyard of the Peter's house. 